Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Just came through the guard station at Mustang Island State Park. We've been here before, but it's been a while. This is where they have the water and electric camping. I'm going to try to just film everything on my left and we'll stay to the left and do it that way. There's a bathhouse right there. Restrooms and bathhouses, men and women. Dumpster station. As soon as you come in, they had a uh, dump. So this is basically a, a big parking lot. There's uh, Highway 361 in the background. Big spots. So you get a picnic table with a little bit of shade and a grill and a parking spot and then looks like you share a spot there's the hookups water and electric take a drive down here I don't even want to look at the heat or the heat index but it's, it's starting to warm up just got a shower here a little bit ago and uh, I can feel that umdiddy rising they got the washout so that's good I always used to do that when I would go camping, put up a clothesline. We'd use it like a fence, but we would run it in the trees, but there are no trees here. <laughs> it's the beach. We need some palm trees. Now we know a lot about palm trees, so maybe we can recommend what kind to, uh, to get. There's birds digging through the trash. Their trash bag's going to have about 300 holes in it. I'm not too worried about cutting off this guy because he does not know how to use turn signals. How you doing? That's cool. They got a bus. I wasn't talking about... Oh, they got a big tent set up. I wasn't talking about the uh, guy that just showed up on camera. There was a guy on my other side and he's turned in front of me without using turn signals twice since I got to the park. But I have an extra container of blinker fluid. So I might just donate it to him. Probably couldn't find any online or anything. So let me see. We did the blinker fluid joke. We did the palm tree joke. <laughs> There's a, a, a guy here. Uh, I guess he's a ranger, park ranger. Uh, his name's John. And he kind of told me a joke when I first came here. And uh, so every time I come back, he doesn't remember me, of course, but I remember him. I uh, set him up for the joke. And uh, he says, you know, good morning. I say, good morning. How are you today? And every time he has said, I don't know. My wife hasn't told me yet. <laughs> There's a breeze coming off the water, guys. A glorious breeze. So I wonder where everyone's at. Is everyone at the beach? Just see a few people out and about. She got a dog on a leash. That's a good idea to park like that. Gives you a little bit of privacy. In case some guy drives by that making a YouTube video. <laughs> looks like looks like that's a standard here, huh? Well, I, I guess, yeah, you only have room for your trailer there. Hmm. I don't know. I don't need water and electric, but you can see the sky. It's it's pretty, but it's got the potential to be nasty out there. You can see some some darker clouds. So this is Mustang Island State Park. This might be the first state park in Texas without a tree. Might be the only one. And now I'm curious. Everyone keep your eye out for a tree. There's the restrooms again. I did use the facility. We're going to drive by. There's more to see up here. Oh, there's more to see. We're seeing everything, guys. There's the restrooms. They're, uh, I'm going to go that way. Okay, you're parking. Cool. Is this the same guy without a turn signal? Yep. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I said twice without a turn signal. That's three times. He's going for a record. I think if he cuts me off a uh, fourth time, he's going to ask me if I'm boondocking with Dennis. There's the Park Coast. That's the smallest Park Coast trailer I've ever seen. Nothing wrong with it, just make it a mental note. So the good thing about this state park is it's, you know, 15 minutes from Corpus Christi, 10 minutes to Port Aransas, and it has its own beach access here. Last time we were here, this was under major construction. They do have a primitive camping area. But that was actually closed the last time we were here. Okay, that road is maintenance only. Glass on beach prohibited. Public consumption of alcohol. Alcoholic beverages prohibited. No vehicles on sand dunes. That answers several of my questions. So I can't drink a bottle of Bud while I'm driving on the sand dunes, huh? That's a parking lot there. Let's go to the left today. I just think this takes us down the other end of the parking lot, to be honest with you. We're in the sand dunes. We got some weeds, but no trees. Okay, this road was closed last time through. 4x4 four four recommended, soft sand ahead. Well, okay, so this is beach access. We'll go down here a little bit, but something tells me we're going to be backing up. Yeah, this is a beach access road. You can see the golf right there. Okay. Let me see how good I can do this. Can you drive in reverse and film at the same time? <laughs> Don't feel bad, neither can I. Can you bake a pie? Nope, neither can I. Well, that's neat. You get on your 4x4. Four 4x4 four. Four four recommended soft sand ahead. I'm heating. For once in my life, I'm heating all the signs. I'm just not in the mood to uh, get stuck in the sand today. Here's a big parking lot and a path that goes down to the beach access roads. You can kind of hear the waves. That's not, that's always nice. There's a bunch of porta potties right there. Let's drive down by the beach access road. Man, I don't know about this park in this heat, guys. There's not one piece of shade in this whole park. But there is an Arkansas license plate. I saw people in the last week with... Yep, right over that ridge is uh, the beach. And they got some beach rules. And you can see... They did have some rain here. Yeah, I saw a Pennsylvania license plate and several Arkansas license plates. And uh, they were all uh, rental cars. Because I asked, hey, what part of Arkansas are you from? Now, in Walmart yesterday, I saw some kids had some uh, Razorback shirts on. And I asked their mom if she was from Arkansas. And she said, yeah, and I forget the name of the town, but it was right out of Hot Springs. And I told her I had friends in Mansfield, Arkansas, and she knew where Mansfield was. So, see, I'm from Pennsylvania, and I, I, I know where all the Pennsylvania towns are. This looks like another uh, sand road, guys. Yep. This is basically the opposite to the road we just went on. But as long as I see a little black top, I'm okay. 
Well, if you can't drive on the beach, why do they have roads going to the beach? That's a that's an interesting question right there. Hmm. Looks pretty, huh? That does look pretty. So close and yet so far. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.